Wettest October in recorded Abilene history is going out at midnight, trying to make it to make sure that it takes another 75 years to break the record. A rainy Wednesday is tonight's top story. At least three quarters of an inch has been added to the rainfall total. And with most of the heaviest rain already through the big country, street and lowland flooding will moderate in the next few hours. A number of traffic accidents have been reported across the region because of wet roads. And much of the ground is still saturated from earlier rainfall, so places which may have already flooded may be doing it again. Take the Abilene State Park, for example. That's where we find KTAB's Noel Reed. It is being compared to the flash flooding event of 2016. At about noon on October the 18th, the water began to go over the emergency spillway at Lake Abilene, um, which has not happened for quite some time. As of today, more than 11 inches of rain have soaked the key city soils. The state park is not accepting any new reservations. However, will honor old reservations for the campsite that is yet to flood. The park will probably still be closed uh, for quite some time. A lot of our trails over here are still underwater. And so those would have to dry out before we could allow any any traffic on them. The state park is reopened for day use. And while fishermen are loving the new lake levels, there's one thing to note. You can still come out here and fish. The um, fishing dock, though, is closed. Um, it was damaged uh, from the floods. And with more rain, mosquitoes become a concern. But state park officials say that it won't be as bad as you would expect. Most of our water here in the park is actually moving. It's flowing. It's also cooling off. After water recedes, the state park will need volunteers across the big country to help clean up debris. There's debris tangled up in some of our, uh, our grills and our picnic area and on the picnic tables. Um, the trails are going to be covered. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Noel Ream, KTAB News. Thank you, Noel. State park officials say even a little bit of rain in the near future could cause more flash flooding until the ground dries out completely.